It's 1097 and the siege of Antioch is underway as the Crusaders besiege the Seljuk settlement of Antioch. What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another 1212 AD siege view today. And we have three huge Crusader armies taking on three Seljuk armies today. And we do have some excellent players here today and we're going to see a great siege i'm sure so if you've been enjoying the content at the moment and enjoyed today's siege then please do remember to leave a like subscribe for new around here and a comment to show your support as a breach looks like it's about to come down what this is 100 percent oh, okay i thought this okay they took out the tower i did think the wall is 100 percent destroyed but yeah you can see we have hospitalers landing onto the walls here some of the finest knights in all of Christendom are here to fight today. I'm very sure we've got England, we've got Jerusalem, which is yet to be formed, and we've got Antioch, which is yet to be formed, but they, they're they here to take their city back, I guess. I don't know why they're here exactly, but um, you can say that Antioch almost is like the Norman uh, force, like that was led by uh, Bermond. Bermond, who goes on to become the first prince of Antioch uh, in 1098, when the siege is eventually like one and uh, then and after the siege of Antioch like when the Crusaders eventually take it the uh, Muslims then try to retake it and the Crusaders sally out and uh, rout the um, rout the Muslims which is pretty pretty cool yes we have some English over here they aren't really to the 1097 like period we do have a lot of late units here but since it's the Crusaders attacking the Muslims that's just kind of the period that's just the date I'm giving, like, for the scenario. I can't, uh, I can't, uh, stop. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, actually. But this was sent in by a member of the Discord, so, um, if you'd like to join the Discord and send in your own battle scenarios, uh, for the channel, then, uh, do so by hitting the link down below in the description, and that will send you straight to the, uh, Papal Legion Discord. And I hope to see some of you guys there soon. But it does look like... Uh, well, they've taken the walls, most of the Crusaders. Uh, there's a little bit of fighting going on. There's a bit of fighting here. Got some Martelosas, uh, which are like a Greek unit. Which I guess the Seljuks might have taken some of the Byzantine lands to have some Greek units. Um, but that's kind of it. I mean, there's some fighting now off the walls. We've got uh, Hospitalis down here. Find their uh, final way out. I personally don't see them getting out of here anytime soon. Uh, I'm just, I think they're, they're kind of stuck on those, at uh, that like gate area for a little bit, a little while. I don't know why they don't send some units like off here, get them off this side. This could be, a, just opens up another avenue. I mean, the soldiers have a lot of reserves. Um, I don't know whether the Crusaders do have enough. I don't know. I mean, it is a basic 3v3. Uh, in that case, the defenders do have less money. But, I mean, this is a very strong defense. We've got some, like, Pet Guard. We've got Voinux. We've got... I'm definitely pronouncing some of these wrong. Sarah Hall. We've got Spears here, anyway. Just call them that. Yeah, we've got some pretty nasty units. Italian mercenaries here. Apparently, the Italians just don't care about the Crusades. And are just going to provide some troops. To, you know, defeat the Crusaders. <laughs> um, it looks like the gates are destroyed. Well, yeah, gate damage 50%, okay, and that's, uh, okay, house damage 50%, I don't know what that's all about. But you wouldn't want to come through anyway, the oil would not be very pleasant. They've got a mortar as well, I didn't even realise that. So, I mean, that's very unlike uh, 10 7, 1097 or whatever it is. 1097, that's what I said. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see how they can use that mortar and whether it can be used to uh, win. I've never seen these like this unit before. This is late spearmen for the English. I guess this is their variant of the Pavis. Uh, they look kind of cool. Got some very weird garish colours. But that's the England for you. We do like red and green. And red and yellow. But yes, yeah, so it looks like that 
fight at the wall is almost an oh I didn't even see this we've got some uh, Ghazi Lancers going outside the walls this will be a very nice little uh, very nice little bit of play don't know what they can go for really I mean they've got a lot of English I mean they got English Knights here early only early though are those cavalry early yes they are doesn't say they are but they are um, and then we've got a lot of English foot knights. Geez, got English foot knights here with triple gold chevron. We've got Yeoman of the Guard, which is a Billman unit. Not seen these before, I don't think. These guys do look very cool. Oh, I do like the emblems on there. So how's the Lancaster with the rose there? Almost looks a bit like the Tudor rose as well, a bit actually. It might be, you know, 15th century. Yeah, it could actually be. It could be the Tudor rose, or it could just be the House of Lancaster. Uh, more than likely, it's House of Lancaster. And we've got uh, Yeoman of the Guard here. Some really good units by England. Jeez, don't have to see England actually in uh, in these ba in like sieges, but yeah, they do look very cool. Anyway, we'll go back into the mess that is down here. We have some Templars involved now, so that's excellent to see. Um, if you haven't seen the Templar mini series, I do recommend you go and uh, go and give it a look. It is definitely a great mini-series. I had a lot of fun making it. Yeah, these Templars, they're probably uh, going to get overwhelmed here. They just, like, for every unit that comes off the walls, the Turks have two to go and just, like, smother them. And they are losing, actually, in numbers. They've lost about 20 men. They're getting focused down by these towers. I'm not sure how. Oh, it's because they still hold it here. Um, but, yeah, look at this Martelosa unit here. Is it actually losing? Where is it? It's here. I can't actually... Yeah, okay. It's losing um, ever so slowly, I guess. But because it's being attacked in the raid. It's not a fan of that. It's being attacked by these uh, Templars. And it's being attacked by these Hospitalers. And it's got Hospitalers in the middle of them. Like, jeez. It's overkill to kill one unit of Martelosas, possibly. But we've got Foot Turk Poles now onto the walls. Now, this is really good. They need to get archers onto these walls and focus stuff done. I mean, these Gulen Foot Guards here. This is the issue, though, with the Turks. They have really good... Swords, which are also archers. The Gulen Foot Guards being one of them. Um, I'm going to try and find another one quickly. Uh, I don't got. Oh, Noka Foot Guards, are they one? They might be one. Yeah, Noka Foot Guards are another. Um, they've got like another one somewhere else, which I can't remember what it's called. I don't know. What's it? Whatever it's called. It's like Yes in. Oh, this might be it here, actually. This might be it here. Oh no, these are more Ghulam. There is another one, but I can't remember off the top of my head, and I can't be asked to find it. But it does look like they've killed this unit on the walls here. Uh, the English had some success there. They're now going to go and face some Italians. Um, if I know anything about the Italians, they'll break instantly. That's just my knowledge from history. Um, but yes, no, I mean, these pole arms are going to be pretty rough to get through. I'd get archers up here. I'd get some of those nice, fancy bowmen. Uh, and then they got back there. They got right a new bowman as well. Get them up and get focusing down on these pole arms, and you'll quickly scare them off away from this area. Because there's not much over here, actually. England's got the best chance of breaking through. There's six units here um, to break through. They could do that quite easily. We've got crossbows now up on the walls. What are these? These are going to hospital a caravan. Good unit to have up on the walls, I guess. Um, these. What are they? Oh, these bowmen back here. These Noka Foot Guard bowmen. And then here's some more. And they just need to focus these guys down, I guess. But they are actually getting, like, pretty chopped up themselves. Start firing, crossbows. Start firing. You can help your comrades down here. Like, your comrades really need help. Dismounted Hospitallers and Crusader Spears. I do like that shield, though. That, like, checkered shield, if I can get as close up on that. That looks kind of cool. I won't lie. But yes, that is uh, going on. The Martos is finally on the wall of Broken. That's excellent to see. They're now fighting these Shock Infantry in combat. I actually don't know whether they'll win this fight, the Shock Infantry, because they haven't charged in. They're just sat quite happily sat at the bottom. But it is Tier 3 against Tier 1, and these guys are very tired. And then you start focusing these guys down. Um, but what are they shooting? Oh, they're shooting these guys in the back. A really good target, actually. 
uh, by the foot turquoise. Shooting these guys, these Martelosas in the back, that'll really help the dismounted uh, Templars, who are starting to flag a bit. Is there two units down here? There might be. Yeah, there is. Oh, no, it's Hospitalers and uh, Templars down there. And I heard an explosion. Did a mortar go off? Surely not. Oh, yeah, there's another mortar here. Okay, so the um, King of Jerusalem brought one. I don't know whether this is actually worthy of target. It's a good target, but you might want to save your artillery. Are they firing back there at those Ghoul and Foot Guard? Quite possibly. Yeah, they're firing these Ghoul and Foot Guard back here. And they hit a few guys. I don't think that's a good target, to be honest. Shoot, maybe these guys. That's a better target. No foot guard. And there's two units. But yeah, these guys. How can these guys even see? They are literally firing into a building. Um, but yeah, they are actually rinsing this unit of uh, caravan. Um, I must say caravan guard. Hospital of caravan. Uh, on the walls. How are the English doing? They are actually... Forcing back the Italians. As I said, Italians just... No good in a fight. No good in a fight. Never want them there. Apologies to any Italians. Uh, but your record in war is... Is dubious at best. No, I mean, well, they, they had the Romans, I guess, so... We'll let them off. Uh, what else? Is this more foot turk poles on the wall? Uh, rest new longbows. This is another good unit. These guys are pretty bloodied up already, though. They're taking a lot of fire. This is the issue, though. They've got to fire at so many units uh, that are just not even bows. I presume that they... Oh, they didn't even bring bows as well. Yeah, Yanseri archers. That's what I was thinking of. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, these Google Foot Guard are getting focused on quite a bit. It's just how do you beat them? You've got to get cavalry in there and run them down. That's the only way you can beat... Ghoul and Foot Guard pretty convincingly. This unit here losing decisively. Sergeants, tier 3, losing to this unit of Spears. Jeez. I don't know if that's just because they're getting shot in the back. It's quite possible. It's a bit of a mess down here, I won't lie. The English have uh, certainly made some sort of a, uh, a push. I mean, Balance of Power is actually in favour of the attackers. Um, I don't know whether that's entirely fair. I mean, they, they don't look like they've got masses of reserves. I mean, they've got a fair amount, but they seem to be like... I don't think the defenders have lost too many units. I'll have to see what happens. And we've got Crusader bows, uh, crossbows here. Again, they need to start focusing on these uh, no foot guards. I mean, they are nearly out of ammo, which is reassuring. Um, but... Like, I mean, they're not helping themselves by just blobbing here. Like, get these dismounted Crusader Knights off the wall. And get them, like, I don't know, down here. Okay, so they've got Crusader Spears off the wall. That's good. They can form, like, a line here. Then they can start pushing on these, uh... Yeah, this is the other unit I was thinking of. The Zerlis and Yanisari Archers. These are the really elite ones. And they're just firing down into the back, back of these guys. Oh, dear. Oh dear, not looking good there. Um, yeah, there you go. Those Templars broke. See, I don't actually know if the defenders actually have a disadvantage. They are breaking over there, luckily. I mean, I'm, I'm saying luckily. I'm like, I'm help. I'm in favor of the attackers at the moment because they seem like they've got it up all up against them. They seem to be losing out on nine out of ten areas. I mean, they're losing here as well. Uh, Yaya's going to lose that, and then they're going to have to send some Goo and Foot Guards in. Not before we're going to see a cavalry charge, though, from some Muxy cavalry. So, uh, this is going to end well. So, when you thought you'd finished, there's now some cavalry coming. Oh, this is going to be painful. Oh, that's nasty. Even tier 1 against tier 3, cavalry will do a good job. Uh, but yeah, that Muxy... Cavalry lost, I think, mean, 10 men. That's not even, like, that bad a loss. That was definitely well worth the charge. And they might route... And they routed those uh, sergeants because of it. 75 men routed. Um, but, yeah, they need to... I mean, the English need to get more troops up here. They've got a Billman unit here. A Billman unit here just taking casualties freely. Uh, it's just stupid. What have we got here? We've got Reggie Longbows going up again. Good. 
good to see that these Billmen are finally losing here. Uh, these uh, Italians are losing here. It's not because they're Italians. It's just because they need to get some more wins elsewhere. The English could start going around here. Could send spears all the way around. Start threatening, like, any other defences. I mean, they're locking down the area with the Italians now. How well locked down that is, I don't know. But yeah, get these crossbows. I mean, these bows, sorry. Don't even bother shooting these uh, Ghoul and Foot Guards back here. Shoot these guys right in front of you. They're undefended. They don't have a shield. Shoot them. Lucky, good to see more Yaya's losing here. Templars doing their bit, killing them off. Kill them all! Deus Vault! But, uh, I mean, more men breaking off for the, uh, Seljuks, which is always good to see. Um, I, I mean, they're actually losing over here as well. Italian mercenaries wavering now. Yep, good. There's much, oh, these Ghazi Lance back inside. Good to see they've got spears defending the back. At least so they can allow their swords to push forward. What have we got here? Martelosas. Okay. Got heavy infantry here as well. I mean, these archers here need to just start focusing down these guys. Like, these spears just won't break through. They'll never break through. And they're going to get surrounded by Ghoul and Foot Guards. Okay, I'm starting to see some fire down onto these guys. Good. But it's a bit too late. These uh, Ghoul and Foot Guards are going to just surround them. The swords over here. These sergeants push so deep and they're going to lose. Oh, no. The cavalry's coming back. Oh, no. They're going to just execute them with bows and cavalry, aren't they? I kind of want to watch this. Just minding their own business. I mean, at least the Italians are going to lose some men for this. But, I mean, you can just see in the distance over there. Cavalry coming. Bows! Oh! The fire into the backs of the men. Your shield won't do you any good now. Oh, are the cavalry's coming? The cavalry surely will come. Yep, yeah, here it comes. Oh, no. This Mukti cab's actually been very useful. And it's got bow capability. It's nasty. And yeah, there you go. That unit of spearmen now wavering. 116 men. It's going 108. Jeez. That's such a big loss. That spearman you could be useful. And yeah, these Italians are just going to mop these guys up. That's how the Italians work. They get easy kills. Easy kills. But yeah, the English are starting to have a bit of a rough time. Um, I don't know why they've got so many billmen. To be honest, they need more swords, more shock infantry. I don't know if it's a 1v1, like... I mean, the English... Have, oh, no, this isn't the English at all. This is still Jerusalem. I don't know if it's like a 1v1, so if these, this English player is going up against just, like, one Seljuk player. But if he is, he's sort of run him into the ground himself. But there's so... No, there's no way. This is just... Uh, he's definitely... That Seljuk player's definitely got stuff back here. Um, and there's so much back here. They're just camping, like, the Citadel. I don't know if they're going to send stuff out. I do not know. But if they just defend here, this is a bit... A bit excessive. I don't know. I don't know how much money the uh, Turks had, but still, geez. There is a lot left. And it's slowly going in favor of them ever so slightly. They now outnumber the uh, attackers. <laughs> it's just how, how bad it's got for the attackers. But um, we will see what happens here. We've got some retinue, but the uh, longbows are going to have to go into combat now against Gulen Footguard. Um, yeah, I think the longbows would lose that fight. Yeah, here they come. Here they come. They'll chase them down. But yeah, I mean, the English certainly is ill-equipped to, like, carry on this assault. He's got spears. He's got, uh, billmen. We're now seeing, like, some, uh, spears for Jerusalem go up onto this wall. And they're gonna try and, uh, get these Ghoul and Foot Guard. Not a bad idea, but I still think the Ghoul and Foot Guard can win that fight. Templars down here now. Fighting it out. Is there- Oh, there's billmen in here for- Oh, no, these are shock infantry. No, there is. There's Billman. There's Halberdiers in here for Jerusalem. Uh, I don't know how well they're doing. They're kind of getting surrounded. I guess they might force these guys back. But, I don't know. 
I'm really not sure. Yeah, they, I mean, they defeat the uh, Templars here. Oh, didn't even see this. Halberdiers charging into the rear of... How did these guys get off? Oh, they got off here. Okay, so I'm going to say Jerusalem's now having the most uh, luck out of this. I mean, Antioch's doing okay as well. Um, yeah, they might take their sides. England's certainly having a really rough time now. I mean, that is the English way. We always make it hard on ourselves. But yeah, Halberdiers forcing uh, their way down. I mean, we've also got more Templars here coming down. Only issue is that, that like the Seljuks can bring a lot more high tier units than the, the Templars and the or the uh, two Crusader factions, uh, the King of Jerusalem and the King of Antioch, mainly because they don't survive long enough to see the late periods. Yeah, it's a, a bit of a mess down there. Bit of a mess. Look at that. We've got fire arrows coming out. I was thinking that was a tower for a moment. Just raining. But it's not. Uh, we are down to see Martelos starting to break. More Martelos is here. Not doing so hot. They will break, I think. And there you go. Yaya's breaking there. The Halberdiers are starting to lose here, though. They're getting, surround getting surrounded by uh, these heavy infantry. It's not doing them so good. English over here. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. I think the English is out of the game already. I mean, they've got some English foot knights left. Um, with like lots of gold chevrons, but that's like where all their money's gone into. Not looking good. I mean, their mortar will be useful. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, if they can break through this and they can surround this uh, shocking infantry unit here, and they can save these two units here, because this halberdier unit is going to be key. Uh, but yeah, there's one gone, one uh, unit down here. I mean, there's. Yeah, this one's losing and wavering now. Okay, there's a small win. Oh my gosh, more cavalry, of course. Into the side of the Halberdiers, Ghazi Lancers. Of course, as soon as the Crusaders do one thing right, <laughs> the Seljuks are here to uh, make sure that that's uh, undone. I mean, they did charge into Halberdiers. Oh, they, eh, they lost quite a few men. Yeah, it was definitely worth it by the Ghazi Lancers. They didn't lose enough to do uh, any damage. If they can take out some of these generals, like Gulen bodyguards, that'll be good. But, I mean, they're so... Most of them are so well defended at the back. Gulen bodyguard and another one there, yeah. They've got Nafatoons as well. I haven't even seen that. They've got three units of Nafatoons. Ooh, that's going to be uh, exciting to see. But, I mean, they could take out a lot of uh, the gold player, like here, or the yellow player. A lot of his units wavering, losing decisively. Crusader, uh, dismounted Crusader Knights over here doing quite well. It is very messy down here. So much blood. I'm sure that these crossbows up here are really helping out as well. These guys, Crusader crossbows, a lot of them were Burgundian shields on. Oh, no, into the back. More cavalry. Uh, they charged into their own men there, though. That definitely wasn't a great charge. That's the first poor charge, I'd say, by the cavalry. Ghazi lances there, uh... Then try to go into this one, this blob here, which is, uh, yeah, not going to end so well. Oh, and we've got some uh, archers coming in here with little ammo, and the general might be coming up. Ooh, I wonder whether, yeah, I wonder what will happen here then. He says this general, and that's pretty brave. I mean, he's got bow capability, I guess. Um, they're really getting their mortar close to the English. Uh, that's a risk they might get shot by um, archers now. Needs to be careful. Needs to be careful. But there you go, look at this, a turn of events, and uh, the Halberd is now beating these uh, heavy infantry. I guess the heavy infantry might have routed the other lot. I'm not really sure. But I mean, yeah, so now these these uh, shock infantry units are getting forced back by Halberd is. Good to see. But I mean, after a really hard start, it looks like the Crusaders are starting to force them back off the walls. But whether that means that they have enough to take on the final defense, I do not know. Um, I mean, the defenders, they've used up a lot of ammo, actually. 
They've got normal archers left. They haven't got many, like, archer hybrid variants. Actually, I don't think they've got any. They're all, like, down here now fighting. Yeah, they're actually doing okay. I mean, the the attackers, they could have done maybe a little bit better, but they've done okay. Um, they just need to probably just focus on halberdiers with their own uh, archers. And... Is that a general in there already? Oh, yeah, Gulen foot guard in here. Oh, no, Gulen bodyguard, sorry. Was he just routed? Dismount Crusader Knights. Oh, dear. But yeah, I mean, they could do this. They could do this. Focus down halberdiers, maybe some archers and nafatoons. And you'll be okay. Um, but they've got a lot of crossbows, not a lot of bows. That's where the English will come in handy. With their bows. I mean, they've not actually got many bows left. They've got their yeomans left. That's it. Not so good. I mean, the, at least the English have a lot of uh, halberds. I guess that's that's a positive. But yeah, you can see uh, here now, like, they've the Crusader factions have really taken this area. It's, I mean... With a lot of losses. There's a lot of bad units down here. I was watching this like final defense over here. Some Minoka foot guards holding the line. Look at this mess. Crusade, uh, like, we're well, not just crusading sieges, but just medieval sieges generally. It's such a messy and just, like, brutal life to be in. Like, some of, like, the weapons that they use, like, small axes and, um, like, just burning oil, obviously, and just, just devastating. And there you go, these units now starting to lose, probably because of the fire from these crusader bows crossbows yeah just absolutely horrendous like like yeah like there's like a certain like knives and axes just designed for close combat so that's on the battlefield and in sieges just like gotta be like pretty sick in the head to just think of like these ideas of how the best way to kill people but that's how people got paid and won wars and stuff like that so i guess it's a valid business and then there's crusader knights coming in here they could be useful Certainly running down some of this stuff. They could do with running down some of this uh, infantry over here. Killing these Gulen foot guards would certainly be a good start. But, I mean, they've got some shock infantry ready. But, after this, uh, after this, like, period here, there's not really much area to use these, uh, use this cavalry. And we've got some halberdiers coming out, some Italians. They're going to capture this. They're going to go after the Italians. I think they might. Not a bad target. Uh, if they don't set up in time, that is, but they they will. They will 100% set up in time. Yeah, that, that carry needs to go back and probably go after, I don't know, anything over here possibly. But it does look like we are coming to a bit of a low point in the battle. I'll just keep an eye on this and give you a bit more action here. But I will probably make a quick cut soon for like the next... Uh, Part of the siege, which is coming soon, I'm sure. It looks like the uh, Crusaders are just going to get their armies inside and then uh, probably start the next assault. There we go, those Noka foot guards are finally gone. Finally gone. Oh, I thought they charged the cavalry in. The English are now taking, or taking this, uh, this gate. I think with a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I was saying not to do. Go on the, go through the gate. They're gonna break before they. Uh, it's gonna break definitely before they uh, capture this gate. It certainly will. Or maybe not. But still, it's a bit, a bit of a silly decision to do. Now they're firing ammo at breaking troops. That's just stupid as well. Hold your fire, England. Some of the towers broke. That's how long that they've been there. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make a quick cut here. Uh, as it seems like the uh, siege is... Well, like, stop. It's not stopped, but like, we're having a bit of a break. It looks like both armies are just going to get their troops reorganized. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back, and we have just missed a, a little cavalry charge. 
Was there anything too major? They mainly charged their own troops. Um, but we do have some uh, Crusader Knights here and some Antioch Knights engaged. And I mean, those uh, cavalry actually did do okay. Tomato to sit. The only thing you really missed was a little bit of skirmish. A skirmish. There's a little fight here. Some a cavalry charging, some ghoul and foot guards. But nothing major. Um, that Mukti Cav finally routed uh, as well. So, I mean, that is, that's always good. And it looks like we're going to have the Battle of the Billmen. Battle of the Halberds. Battle of the Halberds. Who will come out on top? The Halberdiers or the Italian Mercenaries? I'm going to say the Halberdiers. Mainly because they've got Archer support. Oh, but that's some very good angles there, I've just realised. So, we've got the uh, Yeoman of the Guard here firing to the back of these Marcelosas. A really good target. I don't actually know if they need to fire anymore. That might be enough. I'd hold your fire and start getting ready to fire at these uh, heavy infantry back here. But they are taking them down in their droves. But yes, you can see the fire, uh, like the assault going on here. So just decided to defend this area here. Not a bad decision. Um, I mean, it's not, the, it's not a bad decision, but it's also like they could just defend up here if they really wanted to. I mean, there's a lot up there. I feel like they've made a good decision. Like, fair play to them. And just holding this uh, like this area here to allow the attackers to kill a few more men. But, I mean, I mean, you lose decisively here. And, I mean, combat even there. Okay. What's that? I'm presuming that's the... Oh, no, that's the, uh, that's the other one. That's the uh, Crusader one. I mean, that's good to see. They're focusing down some of these units. Certainly weakening up their heavy infantry. Uh, yeah, this Marcellus is gone. And then, eventually, this uh, Halberdier will go. And then the uh, Crusaders need to start charging up and... Helping Gul and Footguards now coming in. That is good to see. They'll certainly help support the fight. And there we go. Nice bright side. <laughs> such, an, such an exciting fight, this. <laughs> Halberd is versus Halberd is. Just the occasional poking. And there you go. Um, the Halberd is and the Marsos is broke. Then the cavalry charges on into the uh, Gul and Footguards. Not so gone so well because they already did one charge. They really need to pull out and go again. But yeah, this Crusader and Cav's pretty damn cool. And they're setting more down. Excellent to see. I'm glad that they uh, aren't just going to defend this top bit. They're just like keeping it here. And then they're setting stuff out. They're setting like sallies, like bits and uh, out to help fight. Good to see. Ghoul of Foot Guard though against Antioch Knights. I don't actually know who will win. I do like this, uh, this unit. I've never really seen this. Never really see Antiochs often played. So these Antiochian Knights are kind of cool and refreshing to see. Their shields are really cool. Do love their shields. A lot of French ones there. Since, well, most of the uh, Knights of Antiochs were French or Norman. Or Italian, I guess. The Italian version of the Norman. The Sicilian Normans, I should say. Part of the Norman Empire, which is kind of formed, which is... Kind of a thing, kind of isn't. It's kind of uh, stretches from England to like the Holy Land. But I mean, balance power 4,400 uh, 4, for the uh, allies, and then the attackers have just over a bit. I thought, I think I might have got it wrong because I thought that obviously like these guys were the uh, allies, but they're really not. These guys are the allies. Um, so they've never actually been outnumbered. Have the um, have the attackers. This is a good sign. I do take that back. But, I mean, they're going to need, yeah, halberdiers up here. Um, they're going to need, more, well, more stuff. They're going to need their artillery. I mean, it's annoying that no one brought, did anyone bring, like, a culvery? No, they all brought mortars, I believe. Um, or oh, is this one? Oh, no, that's a great bombard. Good, right. This great bombard needs to start taking out these fort towers. Uh, if they can take out the fort towers, then they'll do just fine. Oh, my God, the fire, though, back onto these uh, halberdiers is not good. And heavy billmen. Force them back. Force the Ghulams back. But, I mean, this is going to be painful for all these packed up... I don't think they should have sent these Billmen in. I think just keep this one Halberdier unit here. Let them fire on them because they are definitely going to fire on this Billman unit now that's here. It's a fresh unit. But I mean the Gulen foot. Oh, 
Uh, the Gulen foot guard do look good. I was trying to get the guy. Look, look, get back, look at the back of that shield there. Is it slow? Yeah. That looks awesome. Just details like that makes this mod so great. And 12 12 soon getting an update, so that's also going to be really good. I'm really excited to, uh, to see what they do. I mean, I think a few factions are getting overhauls. I think Drusum is one of them. Um, so it'll be really good to see what happens there. I hope they add, like... I don't know why, but I hope they add, like, a... Uh, I don't know. Actually, no, no. I was about to say, I hope they add a Byzantine faction. Just so, like, when you unite Byz Byzantium, that might get unlock a few new units for you. But then, uh, that just kind of makes the other three, like... Breakaway nations kind of a bit irrelevant, a bit. Maybe give put some variant, uh, a bit more variant. Seeing them would be quite good. It's so, like actually, so Nicaea, Epirus, uh, and I'm trying to remember Tre Trebizond kind of. Trebizond kind of is a bit different, but a bit little, a bit more would be quite nice. Um, the Latins obviously are very different. But yeah, these halberds are still getting. I mean, focus on. It's these archers back here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, they still got so much ammo. They barely fired a round. Or a, a shot, I should say. Loose and arrow. I don't know. What, what would you say? A round? This doesn't sound right. Uh, um, hopefully this artillery, yeah, is doing some good damage. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, that caught me unawares. That kind of scared me a little bit. That was a... Jeez, that's a brutal hit. Yeah, a lot of them are getting up, but still... Another round in like that, dude, absolute world of good. Yeah, I mean, they can't afford to lose their uh, Halberdiers like that. And they still have plenty, though. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm saying they don't, can't afford to lose their Halberdiers. They still have, like, plenty of units of Halberdiers. They have, like, six, I can count. No, eight, I can count. I think there's a few too many Halberdiers. But then England's basically just got Halberdiers left, so that doesn't really matter too much. I mean, this uh, Gulen foot guard is now starting to lose, as is the uh, Billman unit, mainly because of the fire from archers. Hopefully, yeah, they're just focusing down these uh, Billmen. I mean, that's another good hit there. Get archers up and just start taking these guys out. God damn, I'm Italian still being here. It's just, ugh. I mean, if this Crusader Knight can get through, uh, break through, then it can go after these two um, Billman units. I certainly would possibly put something in to combat these units, like some Billmen, hold them in place. And then it allows the cavalry to come in. Because otherwise they have to retreat and get cut down um, by the infantry. Well, if they just left it, they can run away quite happily. But yeah, this unit's finally about to go. Finally about to go. Look how bloodied up these Billmen are, though. Jeez. Horrendous. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, they're going to start to drop quite hard now, these Billmen. They've lost a lot of, like, their HP. There you go, they're breaking. Finally, right, they need to get these, oh my gosh, another Lumen, uh, Polearm just appears, takes its place. Well, not even its place, just takes, takes this, the whole up. I mean, now, I mean, these Crusader crossbows, I mean, there's not got much ammo here, but these other ones, they need to start doing some work on uh, these archers, on these uh, pole, I'm sorry. Get the uh, yeoman up here, yep, looks like it's going to happen. Get the artillery up here, start doing some damage. Take out these towers as well. Is that great bombard still got ammo? Not much. I presume the bombard's been firing clean, yeah, getting clean shots, everything here. Yep, yeah, it looks like the assault's about to come. It's going to be spears first. Halberds are coming back. 92 of them left. I can't wait to see the Nafatoons in action. Well, yeah, just Nafatoon high. Okay, yeah, they, that'll be pretty fun to watch. I mean, Nafatoons, whatever area they are, they're fun to watch. But, yeah, I'm, it's just kind of waiting to see where they're going to attack next. I don't really want to make another cut. Um, but I... Just fast forward. Oh, there you go. The tower's breaking, and that's going to do a lot of damage to these guys here. Yep, and there you go. 
They've gone into combat, and that's going to not be good for the pole arms. They're not set up at all. So they've caught those. Uh, the Antioch has caught these pole arms out very nicely. If I can get a nice angle, then I can show you. Yeah, they're not set up at all. Um, so these Antioch knights should be able to force some way around. Are they? Yeah, they dismount Antioch knights tier two. They look very like oh, they're more cruising it. That's why I was like these guys here, especially like in their like padded jackets. I was like that's not a knight. <laughs> they're poorly armed, poorly uh, mailed up as well. But the more crew is gone. That's why sent in to die. Yeah, I'm sure this unit here is losing. Yeah, losing decisively. That's good to see. I'm glad the defenders have lost another unit of pole arms pretty cheaply. Um, they've got far too many. They've got far too many units in this uh, area, in fairness. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, over here, this is also good to see. Pole arms losing decisively uh, to C Foot Crusader Knight. Uh, triple Chevron. Well, no, Triple Chevron. Um, just got... Well, they're actually double Chevron, but I mean, they are 15 centuries, what I was trying to say. They actually might break through both these lines. This is Spears and Shock. The Swords here will have to be coming up. Ah, he worries. I don't think I've seen these guys. Oh, no, I have. We've definitely seen these guys in today's battle. Just never realized they were called Ahi Warriors. And we've got plenty of Martelosis back here. More, yeah, oh, yeah. They've got plenty to get through here of the attackers. Plenty. We're good to see this first little win here with the uh, Voynuk losing. And then another one here losing. Personally, it's in, yeah, it might be worth actually attacking this unit here, Italian Mercenaries, with the Foot Crusader Knights, seeing whether you can break through. Oh my gosh, the arrows here, they're flying over the top, just hitting these uh, caravan. The Hospitaller Caravan, not a great luck this battle. Here we go. In they go. Um, I don't know whether this one will end up as, as well as the other one on the other side. Foot Crusaders may have a rough time, but they might do okay. Some, fi um, some fire from archers might help. Uh, like the cross, uh, the uh, yeoman back there. Oh, actually, or just a charge from the cavalry. I didn't even see this. English knights, they charge to the back of these Italians. Yeah, why didn't they just do that? I mean, there's plenty of stuff risking here, but I mean, this cavalry to throughout this. Oh, no, it, there you go. It's losing decisively. Jeez, they do not do well against uh, 15th century stuff. I mean, it is. I oh, know, it's 15th century itself. They are Italians, in fairness. The Italians are just poor. But you could just charge with the uh, cavalry just straight up the street and go into these uh, spears. And then bounce off them and go into the back of these guys. You've got plenty of options. Um, but yeah, there you go. They broke this pole arm down here. They're now just focusing down these uh, serahors here with, well, crossbows. And various other things, I think. Uh, but yeah, they pulled back the halberds. A smart idea. These... Uh, I still think they'll break through with the spears. They're now sending up a bit more slowly. That's a better idea. Better idea. Have them behind. They are exhausted, these uh, foot crusaders. They might need to send up some uh, Antioch troops. And oh no. They turn I just saw the order get given. These archers are now focusing down these foot crusaders. That's a real shame. Um, a real shame. And there you go. There's a bit of a code red here at this defense here. The uh, Crusader Knights are through. But yeah, those Crusaders over there. Gonna have a rough time now with those archers there. Though their uh, angle is obstructed, apparently. Oh, they still have some. They have still some Yenseri archers back here. Of course they do. Um, but yeah, they are actually now fighting in this final defense. Uh, those are heavy infantry nearly breaking. Oh, please, I beg someone just comes and charge. This ca a cavalry unit could easily get through this unit now. It's thin. I mean, I say that. It's 95 men still. But please, just break these guys. Um, certainly this angle here. Really good side to like um, get through. Because you can just sort of slow flank around and push them back and get around the flank. And you'll undo this defense. But yeah, the final assault now. Onto this, uh, this citadel. It's a shame that the angle of the, like, the... Uh, the camera just gets a bit buggy as soon as it goes into one of these slopes. I hate it. Have a war with the camera. I do apologize. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to do that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how everything else is going. Did they break the... No, it's falling back even further as that Voynuk unit. Jeez. Uh, they just really aren't happy <laughs> with these uh, focuses. They're still... Yeah, I mean, they're willing them down. 
Yeah, losing decisively all of just then. I said in the uh, Antioch Knights, swords will break these spears a lot quicker. Um, and they're setting swords up here, though. Antioch Knights going up here as well. They should break through there. I mean, they are starting to get pressured. They're running out of infantry. They've got a lot of uh, special units like Nafatoons left. Interesting to see what they'll get used. Um, we've got more Crusader Knights losing here. I mean, Drusen's not really committed his stuff yet. He's got Hospitalis still to go up. And he's got Billman. I think the attackers look really good right now. Um, it's still close, I think. But it is... They're looking a lot better now than they were, say, 10, 20 minutes ago. When England basically routed. Oh, God, that's good to see. I mean, for the attackers. Um, those towers breaking. That will have done a lot of damage, I think, to the defenders. Yeah, these units will have lost some... Oh, but the Halberd, uh, the Halberd is coming up. The heavy Billman. Jeez, they're so bloodied up. Look at that guy here. He's got like four arrows in him. And he's like, yep, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, forcing his way through. Yeah, these guys are getting focused down now. They're just so bad up. Both these units, but I mean, at least they're using their armor up on these two units, not like fresh stuff. I'd just have left these two now to die. I'd be shooting down here. This is a really good flank to shoot. I mean, these uh, halberds are, like I said, look at this. If I can get the camera, they're forcing their way round. Not purposely, this isn't like a pull through. It's just what the AI, uh, uh, like, just happens. Like, when you put a halberdier on the corner like this, it will just do this. I mean, that's why I find, like, putting halberdiers with, like, other units is a really good idea. And there you go, these two units are breaking. And there you go, fire arrow is now coming in. I'd try and take out that small unit of, uh, of shock that's just sighed out as well. There you go, spears breaking here. This is a good win. Um, we've now got... Uh, I've never seen this unit, actually. Uk Turk, Turk Lee. It's like a light unit. Oh, okay, this unit's not going to do so well. It's an axe unit. This is a cool unit, though. I like this unit. Don't know why, but they just look really cool. They're just gawping, though, like fish. Yeah, this spear unit is not looking so good. Its formation is completely gone. <sighs> Nafatoons, I saw these. Nafatoons coming up. 40 men with flaming pots of death. Perfect time. And Antioch's seen it though. He's going to only keep a couple of units in it. Yeah, and the Nafatons are falling back. Antioch read it. And he's sending up. Uh, well, he's pulling his blob back. And this should be enough to break through the spear unit. Halberd is here losing now. Because they've. Look, you can see the flank is now being pushed back. And they're getting around and they're just cutting down men. And more Halberd is coming up here. Now is the time for the cavalry to mobilize and come up this way. Literally, there's nothing stopping them. Um, just go up and then route these two units of Halberdiers so much quicker. This Crusader, this English Knight is useless now. Send it all the way up, round here, and there's not enough arrows in the world that will stop them. Please, I beg that they do that. I mean, there's a unit breaking here. They'll probably do the same with this Halberd unit here. It'll just take a lot longer and a lot more lives lost. Better just to send the cavalry up, go round and route stuff. And save their own lives. They need to, uh, as many men as possible. Um, it's 300 man advantage for the attackers currently. Have they got artillery left? Yeah, they've still got plenty of ammo on this mortar. Um, the Great Bombard looks like it might be out. I can't actually see it. Yeah, I'm going to say it's out. And the crew's probably gone in to die somewhere. Mortar crew there. Yeah, they broke that spear unit, but obviously now they've not got much left. I actually got a good angle here with the crossbows focusing up on these uh, this Turk unit. I mean, they've got another unit in behind these archers already. I'd probably engage this one. It's a light it, light infantry unit. Just engage it with an Antioch a knight and you'll probably just do fine. But yeah, this unit, they need us around this unit. Please, send the knights up. Send the knights. Uh, these gentlemen of the guard might want to start firing as well. Probably a halberd or something like that. Pay it, guard. Oh, what a hit! What a hit with the mortar! Why use why use the uh, the yeoman when you've got mortars to do the same job? Jeez! Yeah, that's that's what you get for blobbing there. Um, the Seljuks did a really made a bad decision there, blobbing up. I mean, they lost a lot of men. 
Not so many uh, pole arms, but they lost a lot of spears. There you go, yeah, wavering there. They send up the uh, the yeoman of the guard now up, and then finally these knights are going by the looks of it. Yeah, and they're falling back. They are Italian mercenaries, they're falling back. But that's their own demise, because they still get attacked from the front by these guys. Yeoman of the guard in action. Finally. Finally. That's what happens. That's as soon as you use her cavalry, you just you cause thing. And now they're gonna go and hide in a corner. This unit is gonna go and hide in a corner. Because it knows what it's it's got like nowhere to defend. Just send an arch. Don't even attack this unit now. It's not even worth attacking. Just start your assault. Keep the cavalry like here. And this polearm unit is gotta be scared for the entire game. And there you go, spears now. Oh, they were losing decisively. I think just because of the initial charge. But they are actually losing again. Uh, but yeah, they are running out of stuff. They are running out of stuff, those defenders. They just have, the attackers just have to attack in some areas where they're doing really well. Like here, they're doing really well. Um, here, they're gradually doing a lot better. You just have to do that. Just attack in some areas. Like back there, going down that one street is going to be a nightmare. So you just don't attack. They need to get um, archers to uh, take out these Nafatoons, though. Imagine if you sent a mortar, I just thought, to like blow up these Nafatoons. The, their explosive pots should then explode, right? <laughs> and you cause like a chain explosion. Be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, we've got Billman now coming up. Billman up. Oh! That's what you get for blobbing. Yeah, this is a big blob here. Perfect shot for the uh, mortars. I mean... Perfect that they're blobbing up as well. They're not helping themselves. They're just counter blobbing. Counter blobbing. Perfect way to stop a blob. Uh, is this cavalry really going to truly charge into this film and uh, this uh, mercenary arch unit? That's what I was about to say. Mercenary arch unit. Mercenary Italians. Get there eventually. Jeez. Uh, no. If anything, you just leave it there, stood in front of it. Oh, no, it did. It did actually charge into it. It actually sort of worked, but it just didn't. No, it was just not worth it. Yeah, that cow really is going to die now. You just have to leave it here. Leave it here to look at them. Or just like around here. And then that Billman unit's just stuck there for the entire battle. It's just either if it moves out, the cavalry moves. But they're actually in. Antioch is in. He's got to swarm inside now. I swear to God if he does not swarm inside. Um... But yeah, I mean, look at this. It's just, I think at this point, um, the guy that sent it in said, I think it's at this point someone dropped. Um, so the, the AI took over, and this is kind of what the AI did, was just blob. Which is a real shame, because it's been a really close battle at this point. But yeah, Antioch is inside. And Nafatoons went off. Oh, I didn't even see it. No. Not my favorite unit. It didn't even get used. Yes, yeah, so we'll uh, just... But yeah, the Antioch needs to really... Oh, he's miss it's a missed opportunity. It truly is. They could have uh, got inside. This cavalry could just charge up here. Do some damage. Um, What is left? I mean, they've got plenty of dismounted Crusader Knights. Send them up. I mean, Jerusalem might want to start debating sending up some of his hospitals. I mean, I feel like he's mainly got to fight over here. Oh, jeez, yeah. You can see this. This is not so good. Oh, my God. The Mortar is going to get so many kills. Yeah, this is just the AI just sallying out. It's a real shame. Um, but, I mean, they've got some dismounted Antioch Knights now. They've got Halberds ready. These Halberds might want to turn around themselves. They're going to get surrounded. There you go. They're going to go into those Antioch Knights. Hold the line. Just keep them in place. A, a brave sally out by the Turks. We'll say it wasn't the AI. AI taken over. It's just a brave sally out. But, uh, no, it is a bit of a shame when this happens. It has, the battle has been going on a long time, so the longer these battles do go on, it, the likelihood of someone dropping doesn't get raised, but it is, uh, possible. We'll put it like that. Halberd's losing. Oh, they're losing. The Halberd did not, um, Nafatoons are blowing them up. Jeez, I didn't even see. Is it these ones? Possibly. Yeah, but the Nafatoons are certainly helping save the situation. These uh, dismounted Antioch Knights are not doing so well either. Jeez, I mean, they're getting morphed by their own troops. Uh, by their own, like, tr yeah, oh men. These Halberdiers here winning the fight. Yeah. 
They're getting flanked. Oh, they are only fighting bows. The halberds back there are falling back. They need to get cavalry up here. Get cavalry up here, start routing some of this stuff. Just Well, just anything. It's going to need a lot of infantry. All these halberds over here might be needed. And there you go. Look, the cavalry's just able to get inside. This whole defense back here is just redundant. Uh, in fairness, there is a halberd unit here ready. Tiny little one. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's kind of a stalemate over here. It's kind of just... If they can route all this, that's that's a big win. Big win. But it's a disgusting lot. When I zoom in here, it's like the, the frames go down. Ever so slightly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Another one goes off there. Yeah, this mortar's going to got hundreds of kills. Oh. Um, yeah, I actually can't tell right now how many kills it's got, but it's going to got a lot. Oh, God. I'm just saying explosions going off. You need to hit stuff over here. And um, they're just starting stuff down a waver. Imagine if they're the cavalry now. Uh, the general could be pretty useful. They got some shock infantry going up. They'll be very useful. Now Fatoons are in the combat and they only they have ammo left. Oh, that's painful to watch. Uh, the ha the billman over here, somehow still alive. Come on. You defend the tower. Yeah, these guys are pretty sure defend the Tower of London. You defend the tower. If the tower falls, then, well, I don't know. I don't know why you'd be defending the tower in Antioch, but hey. But yeah, I mean, yeah, if they defend, they do defend the Tower of London, that unit, I'm pretty sure. Still do to this day, I'm pretty sure. They've just changed the name of them. They're not yeomen anymore. They're, uh, I actually can't remember what they are called. Save my life. And I'm British. I should. It's obligated to know that. Um, but we've got some front crusaders up here. They're probably just going to mess up these uh, Voynucks. This is the same unit. Uh, yeah, this unit, like I've seen this one before, they're like, huh, I recognize you. But yeah, they're shaken. The oh my gosh, huge chain out there, though. Yeah, no surprise there. And um, this huge blob is just, uh, yeah, getting focused down, really, by mortars. It's a shame to see, but. Uh, at the same time, it's kind of glorious. A glorious charge out by the Turks. And it does look like the Crusaders are going to take Antioch for themselves. As they do in history. Bermond will be able to become Prince of Antioch. And it is actually Antioch that is kind of leading the way. He's the only one left with this army. I mean, we've got a few... Uh, Crusaders, but not many, and we've got uh, some English troops left as well, but not many. As it freezes, okay, yeah, it's okay. It's starting to freeze for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. That is very weird, but uh, I do apologise. We carry on. We carry on like nothing happened. Um, I mean, I definitely, if I was, just, I'd just be getting troops inside now. Get troops inside. Kill these guys off. Focus them down, boys. Focus them down. More Billmen coming up. I guess England bringing like a million Billmen actually in the end paid off. I, I am sorry for saying that. I mean, yeah, but this is what the AI is going to do. It's going to just sally out and go all the way around here. And there's a tiny unit of spears that's been dedicated with defending them. Poor spears. Um, it's just shocking for Joe here. Should also be enough. The cavalry, actually. If they can get a good charge off, good round most of that. Um, but yeah, they are mainly fo forcing their way through now. Are the defenders. I might start to fast forward a little bit just because it's inevitable what's going to happen. Mainly because the Turks are in the wrong part of the city now. If they just break through here, then they're really in trouble. Uh, they're sending some stuff back. It's the AI, this, the stupid AI. Yeah, I do apologize for this, like, juttering. I don't know why this is happening all of a sudden. Um, maybe just. A lot of dead troops on the battlefield. There's not many troops left now. 
I would have expected this to happen at the beginning of the battle, not at the end of the battle. Um, but yet, I do apologise. I may just cut to the end at this point, because it is inevitable what is about to happen. So yeah, I will see you guys in a moment with the end results as this is uh, starting to cut. Okay, so we are back, and it seems like it seems to be working okay. Uh, the music slightly cuts out occasionally, but there's been no major freezes. Uh, just putting it in fast forward seems to have done the trick. Um, but yeah, so the uh, the attackers are inside, and uh, yeah, this is kind of where it spells an end. Um, some ge there's been already been a general loss for the uh, Seljuks. I'm not quite sure which one it is. One of the uh, players in blue. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. They are inside now, and uh, yeah, oh dear, just as I said, that it's going to not freeze, um, but it's not. No, the music's just gone again. Um, yeah, I don't know why this has been happening. Uh, this doesn't usually happen with 12-12, but this one in particular, it just seems to happen. There's the King of England. I guess, uh, I, actually, there was no King of England in the first crusade that went there. I don't even think England really participated in the first crusade. Um... No, it didn't really at all, actually. Uh, as there's another little bit of chuttering there, I do apologise, guys. Um, but it should soon get to the end. We've only got like two minutes left, which will be probably about uh, a minute, 30 seconds, whatever. But yeah, so they are inside. There goes the uh, final, or one of the other Turkish generals. Uh, this one's, yeah, also losing. Did he dismount? I think he did. Then they both did, did they both dismount to fight? Yeah, they did. Oh, that's good. I like that bit of honour. Bit of honor there, um, but yeah, so a minute 40 odd left, and that is probably going to wrap it up. And uh, so we'll soon get to the end results. It's just like all this back here for some reason is just oh, this is good. Yep, uh, I guess the Seljuks are <laughs> recapturing the gate so they can leave the city. What a yeah, I guess they can go and find some allies and uh, then come back to retake the uh, city like they do in uh, like they do in history. Or oh, well, they don't retake it, but reassault it. Uh, which the defenders then, obviously, which is now the Crusaders, deal with quite easily. Um, but yeah, so there we go. A Black Day ally is routed. Uh, and there we go. We've got no one left, really. So I might... Well, I could just fast forward even quicker. Let's do that. Fast forward even quicker. Get rid of it. Get rid of this. Oh, dear. I do apologize. This is... And there we go. A general's dead. All oh, right. Okay. I was thinking that was for the uh, attackers, but no, that's just the Seljuks. There you go. They finally lost their last general, so they should all waver and break in like no time. It's just mainly a big English and uh, cru uh, Crusader blob down here, which I keep saying Crusader, it's Antioch. Antioch. There we go. This should be the end of it. A final little bit of uh, normal speed as, uh, yeah, these uh, guys just fight it out to the death. And with four seconds to go. jeez. Oh, of course. So there we go, guys. I don't know what really happened there. I uh, quickly reloaded the replay and just kind of went through because it just was a bit... Uh, I think it's something must have been corrupted, but we got to the end. Only like the last five minutes or so was a bit ruined. But by then we knew that the... Crusaders were going to win and uh, yeah so there we go we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results quickly uh, this was sent in by Burke BB thank you to him for sending this in um, he did mention obviously about the sally out by the uh, defenders it is obviously a bit of a shame but um, it happens I guess so uh, I mean NYT uh, who was playing as the Principality of Antioch we'll have a look at his results first because I'm seeing a lot of some really good results for him he got 325 kills with his uh, dismounted Crusader Knights um, 204 with another, 202 with another. He got his crossbows, got 213. Uh, his great bomb, I don't get in 48. I guess that was going out for towers and stuff like that. Um, his Antioch and Knights, um, they got uh, 274 actually, and his dismounted um, knights as well, getting 189. And Spears obviously just not doing very well. And then we've got Burak B over here, who's playing as the Sultanate of Rum. Um, his army, I mean, he didn't get as many, obviously, as many kills as that, but he got 100 kills here with the sword unit. Um, he got, there's no Kafuk guard. Um, he got 218. And his Martelos is here, um, getting 144. That's not actually that bad. His pole arms, yeah, not doing so well, but they seem to just get focused on quite quickly. His Yaya's here, uh, doing okay. And his uh, heavy infantry getting 101. Uh, then we'll look at the German Empire, um, who was playing as another Seljuk army who got... 
uh, with his archers got 118. Oh, actually, 204 there. That's good. His Ghazi Lance is getting a lot. His, uh, oh, well, they're actually called Humbarachi here, but I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just Nafatoons. Um, 141. Uh, and then uh, we've got Gustiani here. Oh, he did bring Nafatoons. Okay. Uh, his Gulen Foot Guard got 125. Marcos is getting 189. Paul Arms is getting 218. That's very good. 100, uh, 331 with his heavy infantry. Very nice. And then we've got Potty, who was playing as Jerusalem. Um, with his uh, shock, which only joined the battle quite late. 153. 174 with his halberds. His uh, hospitality is getting 113. His Templar is not doing so well. His Turquoise is getting 336. Excellent. His mortar, 319. Gs. And his Crusader Knights, 177. And his crossbow is 133. Then United Grunt. Who played as England? He got 373 kills with his mortar as well. Is that the same as Potty? No. Um, and then 290 with his Yeoman of the Guard. Excellent. Uh, his uh, Rescue Longbow is getting 238. Uh, his Sergeant is getting 104. Uh, Yeoman of the Guard there as well. Oh, no, that's Billman, of course. Uh, 148. Uh, heavy Billman, 258. And his Shock Infantry. Uh, his English Foot Knights, 243. And his General King, 124. Uh, 127, sorry. But if you enjoyed, guys, please remember to leave a like. I hope you've uh, managed to get to the end. It is a long one. I do appreciate it if you have. And uh, I will see you guys in the next.